Why Dwight Howard would be an awesome fit on the Warriors. I don't know which photo to use of him because he's been on a bunch of different teams, but since he wasn't in the league last year, I just took you know a picture of him from the Lakers where he won his championship. So what's funny about this news that the Warriors are you know going to talk to Dwight Howard and potentially sign him? We'll see. Nothing is set in stone. But what's funny about this is last year when Dwight Howard was on. What was he on? Was he on All the Smoke podcast? He was on some podcast or something and he was talking about how he could really help James Wiseman. And I made a video afterwards basically like agreeing with that. Cause I was like, that'd be a great idea if the Warriors brought him in as kind of like, you know, a player development coach for James Wiseman to help him learn how to be, you know, a big in the game. Cause Dwight Howard, although people have forgotten in his prime, was so dominant. You know, he took that Magic team to the finals in 2009. So like Dwight Howard was that guy. And so I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity for James Wiseman to learn from someone who's done it at the highest level. Regardless, they didn't bring him in, but now it's just ironic full circle that the Warriors are thinking about signing him. I think Dwight Howard would be the perfect fit on the Warriors because he basically would have that JaVale McGee role. And he's already done it because he had that role in the Lakers. He probably had a little bit of a bigger role in the Lakers and it obviously wasn't exactly what JaVale McGee did on the Warriors, but it would be like a similar thing basically. He would be there to be a big body, to rebound, to block shots, to keep people out of the paint and get under opponent's skin and just play some good defense. And Dwight seems to keep himself in good shape. Like despite the fact that he's had injuries and he is obviously older, he doesn't show his age much when he plays. And I know, again, he didn't play last year, but I'm just saying, like, even when he was on the Lakers and he was on that championship team, he was technically still older. And of course, like, he wasn't playing the role he was playing when he was on the Magic, but it didn't seem to, like, affect him. Like, he still seemed just as effective. So I feel like this would be one of the perfect players to sign because given who is left in free agency, this is probably one of the best centers left. I haven't looked at the list. I don't know exactly who's available, but he is one of the top centers left. Someone with a championship already, someone with experience, someone, like I said, who was a top tier player, defensive player of the year. Like he is someone who knows how to play basketball. And it'd be a perfect union because the Warriors aren't going to ask him to do so many different things. He doesn't need to play 30 minutes a game. He just needs to do what, like I said, the JaVale McGee role or whoever else you want to compare it to. I would just say JaVale McGee because JaVale McGee like perfected his role, in my opinion, on the Warriors. JaVale McGee was always talented. Like there's a reason he was in the league before the Warriors, of course. Like he was very talented always, but when he was on the Warriors, obviously like you really saw his talent. Like it was really highlighted because they highlighted his best skills. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not saying he was at his peak prime when he was on the Warriors, but I'm just saying like you could really see his skills. Does that make sense? Anyway, I feel like Dwight Howard could fit that role perfectly. We know that one of his best attributes is defense, is rebounding, is blocking shots. And that's exactly what the Warriors want, what they need, and what they would be bringing him in for. So it would be a perfect fit. He is someone who can play when Jokic is playing them or when they're playing the Lakers with Anthony Davis, like ironically the Lakers. Someone who could just go out there and just, like I said, make it tough on the opponents, the centers, and people who are just obviously big like him. But also, he can hold his own. Like, that is something we know. He can hold his own against the centers. Again, I'm not saying he's going to stop Jokic completely. He's not going to stop Embiid, especially at the latter part of his career. But he can give enough resistance to make it tough on them, to alter shots, and just get in opponents' heads. And because he is at the latter part of his career, I don't think he's looking for a huge role. Like, I think he would be complacent with fitting into the role that they give him. Like, I don't think he's going to be like, well, I was defensive player of the year, so I need 40 minutes a game. And he wouldn't say that anyway. So, like, I'm just, like, I'm just making a point that, like, he's not in his prime of prime. So I feel like this would be a perfect fit. And like I said, he had said, I believe he was on the All the Smoke podcast, but correct me if I'm wrong when he said this, like we're talking about the James Wiseman thing. So he wanted to go to the Warriors. Now, when he said it, I believe he wanted to be on the Warriors, like be actually part of the team. And I had said more of a player development coach because I thought they obviously were going to, well, at that point, like it seemed like Wiseman was going to get minutes. So that's why I said bring him in as a player development coach, because if you want Wiseman to get minutes and Looney was there, there wasn't going to be any time for Dwight Howard to play. But now that Wiseman is not there, Dwight Howard can get playing time. He will get playing time. I think the Warriors should do it. 
I don't know how many other teams are talking to Dwight Howard, but he didn't have a contract last year. So it seems like they could pick him up. So listen, we may be seeing Dwight Howard on the Warriors this season. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about the Warriors potentially signing Dwight Howard.